All right, Black Power, I'm in the house, family. Ain't no ease up today. Got to put this work down. Got to put this work down, family. We ain't looking at the truth from the reality of the African perspective. So we got to wake up today. I'm going to hurt hearts. I'm going to hurt hearts today. And I'm going to ease some hearts at the same damn time. But the truth is a motherfucker. Okay? Once you know the truth, it's going to ease some hearts, too. I'm in the house, family. Bang, bang. In the house, family. All right, I got my monitor up. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let me see if I got a... Uh, See if I got some, and it don't make no difference. Thank you for your support, all my family. People say I'm late. I ain't late. I'm already on time. I just did a damn video. I'm, all, I'm always on time. I'm in the house. All right, I'm going to keep it moving regardless. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, I'm just, I'm back on the, on the battlefield. Been off for about a week. You know what I'm saying? Still working at the same damn time, though. Ain't no, ain't ever no time when I'm not working. All right, let me get the, get the set up. Get the set up going. Now, you know, it, it, it's some mysteries that's uh, hid in the Bible that a lot of people just do not want to give reference to because most of the time you look at it through the eyes of your oppressor. And that's what's wrong with people. You understand, they, they so bland to reality. Everybody is not the same, okay? That's got to be clear. Everybody's mission here is not the same. That got to be clear. Some of you niggas got krakatosis, chronic krakatosis and severe nigger rights. And through that, you the lines is bl blur between the chosen and the curse. Like I say, you know, and the one thing Africa is a continent of solar divinity. And the one thing about solar divinity and solar worship is that it make a clear distinction between the chose and the curse. Whether you want to deny it or not, it's there. Okay? When you go check the medical records, you understand, you know, you know, over the course of summer and, and see the brutality that, you know, the sun, you know, you know, the, it, 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 you know, it does a, a vicious a brutality on certain people and then on others, it's a divine blessing. Okay? We get, we, you know, our, our skin become glistening gold, brown, and black, you know, glistening black. You understand, but many others is 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 a form of severe punishment, you know, and, and you know it's a severe, it's a it's a form of severe punishment, you know, and that's just a fact that must be clear. And so when we get off into the mythological God and shit, and we we become confused, even though in that is still the truth, okay, which I'm gonna show, but it's been allegorically here so that you will now understand the truth. And that in reality is what I'm speaking. These people have already professed themselves, but they've done it in an allegorical way that they would understand, but that you wouldn't understand. So you couldn't use it against. Them. You understand what I'm saying? You know, we've been picking on these people for a very, very long time. We have, it's even since the ancient time. And the one thing, you know, and that's what was clear when you, and so that's why I'm doing, as we move forward, the different shades of divinity. And we're going to get down to white. We're going to get down to black. And understand it from an African perspective. You keep looking through everything from the, the, the perspective of your oppressor. And we're not all the same. And so you've been color programmed 
and allegorically programmed out of your divinity or and not knowing the truth. And so we got to we got to come up, you know, we got to expose the truth, we got to pull back the veil. And understand what I'm saying? There's a time to, you know, where information got to be, you know, it got the a veil got to be put on information to hide it from the outside and not from your fact, from the outside. And then there's a time when we become in a state of confusion where you got to pull back the veil. And so within the biblical scriptures, you know, and that's why I love it because there's enough in it, you know, to really show and prove everything and what we what we teach it. Not that any individual, but the the you know the emotional, the the particular uh you know cosmological connection between African people and the disconnection between the the albino, you know, on the planet. We got to talk about this. And when we come up out of this mystery spookism and apply the truth to reality, a lot of this shit, you know, will be exposed and then we can move and make real moves based on real information. But if we, we, we spooking and shit and we looking up to some mythological God and we not break, we not pulling the veil back. And a lot of these niggas know the truth and they don't want it because they they benefit. They have uh they have uh intertwined they mission with the beast mission. So a lot, you know, they don't get, you know, they don't have no uh benefit of revealing this information to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's beneficial that you stay in the position that you in, and that's how they get they perk. That's how they get their ability to stay in the position that they in today. So when we talk about Adam and Eve, and I very clearly stated, and people just don't, you know, comprehension. You got to be able to comprehend information. And that's what we're not doing when we look at the, we so busy spooking. And you know what I'm saying? We want to spook through some shit. You know what I'm saying? The one clear thing, I, you know, when we talk about Adam and Eve, first and foremost, is that they was put out the garden okay now number one we know damn well people talking about we we adam and eve we not no goddamn adam and eve because it stated that adam and eve was put out the garden okay african people have always been in africa were never put out of africa and still in africa today so it said that adam and eve were put out okay we're still there so i don't know i don't that right there see comprehension is a motherfucker you know what I'm saying? Comprehension is a motherfucker. Say they were blocked from ever returning. Do you understand that? So y'all get to look at the story and quit spooking, you understand, and look at the dynamics of the story. Okay, you so busy looking at them goddamn fake ass angels and shit and this, that, and not understanding the, the anthropomorphic gloss over to hide the true facts of who the God is and what the story is actually trying to tell our people. And not just our people, what trying to tell them the reality. They know the reality because the, the story speaks to their reality. It don't hide the fact. You hide the fact by glossing over with the spookism and the allegory. So the one clear thing it speaks about before I go into the imagery, the visuals, to prove exactly what I'm saying is that Adam and Eve was put out of the garden. Okay, they're not indigenous to the garden. They were put out of the garden and they were blocked from coming back in now what would block them if they were put out where did they go who are these people they were never allowed to come back in and the reality speaks to the facts even though they there today they're burning you understand they're paying a heavy toll for being there wherever they at they paying the heavy and they're not going to be able to pay that ticket too much longer so you you know you might think you could oh where well, they're there yeah they there but they ain't going to be able to pay that ticket too much longer you see what I'm saying? The, the game is up. The game is up. And then the reality is, I mean, they burning in damn Europe. So right there, let you know that they got to go deeper, 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 deeper up into the cave. Even that too far out the cave, and that's not the land of they are. You understand? Even when we go and talk about Europe, that is was first populated by African people. That's the facts. That's the facts. Okay. That's the fact. So that ain't even the land of their origin. So we call them Europeans, and then we go to the map. We look at this land called Europe, and we think, no, that's nothing. They not even European. Shit, them motherfuckers come up out of Siberia 
You understand about it? That goddamn cold, goddamn Russia. You understand that more where they came from. And so today we got to clear up all the mystery and show that these is actually, and when you look and you see it for yourself, you're going to see it that Adam and Eve is one of the first historical records of vampires. Okay? And we're talking about the solar destruction. Did our ancestors know, you know, astronomy? And we just got out of M Hotel, you know, being one of the master astronomers, you know, knowing astronomy, you know, from ancient times, handed down this information from ancient times. Our people know the astrological, uh, uh, you know, correlation of the universe. And it knows that we go in and out of different, uh, uh, you know, different, seasons and not just seasons on the earth but seasons in the cosmos where the earth could become hotter can become colder you understand what i'm saying everything ain't gonna remain the same you know and a lot of times when we see even change on this planet when we talk about go global warming and shit this that and the third we got to understand that that was foretold anyway that the earth you know it comes periods where the earth is hotter there becomes times when the earth is cooler. That's just facts. You understand? And there's ages. You know, and the age could be whatever allotted time based on the cosmological calculations. You know, a lot of people think that they know it, but it's unknown at this time because of what we lost when uh, ancient Africa was conquered and many of our great scrolls was destroyed. You understand? And that's the reason why they destroyed many of the scrolls because they were solar scrolls. And when the European was conquering Africa, the, the great scribes already told them that, you know, you got you ain't got belong. You know what I'm saying? We know, and you know, we know what's gonna happen. So you do, you do your wickedry, and then the time is, and this is the real time. See, when they start talking all that 6,000 and woo, 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 if they, you know, we understand based on cosmology, based on our, connection to the sun that these periods are coming and when that period it come if you do not have a certain amount of melanin your ass going up under the ground or you're going to be walking around with them shine and that's why when you look at uh many of the damn uh uh, uh movies they already show that and so this is not nothing so we are actually looking at that which the so a man think of, so is he. So you can look, and they know this, and they've been knew this, because our ancestor told them, you know, in ancient time, that though you may be, you know, you have taken a, 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 a control of African soil, of African people at this time, our, our great God, Ra, will come as a savior and redeem us. And that's what's happening. They're not going to be able to pay that ticket. And so in their mythologies, they have encoded a lot of this information that our ancestors did not already spoken thousands of years ago. And I know this, and that's why the scrolls was burned, because it spoke of a pending doom. You understand what I'm saying? It spoke of a pending doom, and it gives a lot of calculations based on this, the solar divinity, which is our playbook. You understand? So you got to destroy that. They're destroying our playbooks. You understand? So we got to get back to solar divinity. Fuck all this man-made religion. And, and solar divinity is about the cosmos. It's it, the sun being the central point, but the whole of the cosmos is speaking to us and giving us information. And, and, and so we understand how to move. This is our playbook. The cosmos is our playbook. As we, you know, we we moving on this plan. And if we get our playbook together, the win is ours. The win is ours. It's already in the bag. All we got to do is cross the goal. You know, the, you know, you know what I'm saying? The goal and, and kick the motherfucking ball and win the game. That's all we got to do. It's there for us. You know what I'm saying? But we got to come up out of all this, this mystery of garbage and Enoch and male kid, that all of that shit is misleading, taking niggas' mind totally away from reality. Okay? Totally taking our minds away from reality. So let's deal with this story because it's given the information that's necessary. When we're looking at our playbook, we they know the information. It's in their playbook. And that's why everything is 
in accordance to try to keep their ass on the planet. Because a lot of people say, oh, the white man got more money. Oh, the white man got more degree. The white man, bitch, you on your way up out of here. That shit gonna be empty vessels for long. You understand what I'm saying? So if you ain't got the power to keep your ass on this planet, bitch, you ain't got no power. Uh, 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 you know, uh, no. You understand? You got all this, but you, slowly but surely, you becoming a stick. So people don't even look and see that just like they say, you know, my, you know, white sepulchers. Inside ain't nothing but dead man bones. That's all it is. So you looking at all the pretty shit. Only oh, he got this, that, and that. it won't be long. God damn it! All of that will be for not because in in the end, and you know the end result. If you don't have the power and the knowledge, and first and foremost, why are you in this predicament in the first place? Why are you in a solar system without melanin? See, so right there, we talking about uh uh. What's natural and what's unnatural is totally unnatural to be born in a solar system. I didn't name it, but that's the reality. It's a solar system. So it's totally unnatural to be born in a solar system <laughs> without melanin or some form of chlorophyll for the plants to protect you. You understand what I'm saying? So that you can thrive with, within the solar system. See what I'm saying? So that right there show you. The one thing, it shows you what's natural and what's unnatural. It shows you what's chosen and what's cursed. If we're talking about chosen people and a curse, because that's the balance. See, they don't want to talk that. Then you say it's racist. But if you could talk about a chosen people, you could talk about a curse, because that's the balance. You can't have no yin without no damn yang. You see what I'm saying? And that's the reality. There's positive and there's neg negative on the battery to make that flow, that current flow. You understand what I'm saying? And so when we understand who the true living God is, then we can understand who's chose and who's cursed. Let me talk to y'all today. Let me let me bring these uh let me bring these slides up. We're going to get in here now. Let me get uh what I want to. Oh, what I want to. What's this? Okay. Let me bring this one up too cuz I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. It's going to hurt now. It's going to hurt. Let me get it in, you know. I need that. I do. I need that. I need to bring that up. I need to bring that up. I do. I need the brain. Well, you know what? I'm working with it. They ain't gonna be able to take that. Let me brain, you know what I'm saying? Certain shit they you know that's why y'all had to get with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all had to get with me, y'all. Straight up. I, I know I know certain shit that just, you know, you you hit a motherfucker in the stomach and you can hit a motherfucking wind go out their ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I got that kind of firepower. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, the wind just leave up out of motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna do? Let me move this over. You know what I'm saying? You know, in order for you know for the general to be able, and like I said, I still come hard body. You know what I'm saying? You know, I still come hard body. I don't never cut it. You know what I'm saying? I just give it to the people in the way where you know. You still got the the information is is as powerful. You know what I'm saying. But in order for y'all to see me body slam the beast like that, you got to get me on the live stream. You are gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have other platforms. I'm making these platforms as we speak. You know what I'm saying. So you know you got to get with me. You know, and you need it that way too. You know what I'm saying. But I ain't gonna never cut you short, regardless. When you get up off of here, you gonna know. You understand what I'm saying? That the general, what he said, was 100% right in his act. Okay. Let me put that one down. I don't want to show y'all because that, that coming on the, on, the, on the back end. That's coming on the back end. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let me bring this down. Well, matter of fact, that's good right there. That's good right there. That's good right there. Let's go.
Let me go on and share this. And I prove exactly what the what the hell uh you know I speak, and I don't care who don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Nah. When we go, uh, you know, I think I got that Psalm, that Psalms 84 a lot, and then you got one as uh, Malachi. You understand what I'm saying? I forget what what uh what chapter and verse I get. It. Okay, it says, uh, "For the Lord God is a sun and a shield." The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold for them that walk uprightly. And one of my, my students brought that up. That walk upright. You understand what I'm saying? And we're talking about some of us still out here walking around on all fours. So you're not walking upright. You understand what I'm saying? It says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and no good thing will he withhold from them that walk up right you understand and that thing just happened to be melted we don't understand that and even when you look at and we understand that god is the son we got to understand that everything in this universe lives according to the blessing of the sun that vegetation that's out there that you eat that empowers you that gives you even the oxygen come from the sun you see what I'm saying? So when you look out there and you look in the church and you see the monogram for Jesus Christ, IHS, where it's located and showing you that it's the sun. Every time you see that Jesus, you always see the, the sun. The, the anthropomorphic image of the Serapis is only to confuse you. Okay? It's only to confuse you. When you go in the church, you see right there, you see the beast. What he doing? He crowned in what? The son king. That's who king. Now, how the beast going to come? You understand? He knows the reality. He, he know that that son going to make his ass bow down at any given time. No matter what he say, no matter what he do, he could try to take out all his, his oppressive, his de depressive states on us because of the reality of what he, what he is. You understand? And the curse that is bound to eradicate him from the planet. You understand what I'm saying? But he knows the truth. He knows the truth. So you see right there, he crowns the son king for the Lord God is a son and a sheep. Okay? And, and, and the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Okay? That walk uprightly. A lot of people think it just mean walking in, in righteousness. Yes, that's one interpretation, but the other interpretation is walking on two legs. You understand what I'm saying? Because all of us ain't walking on two goddamn legs. You understand what I'm saying? If you pull back the veil, even right now today, some of them still up in that goddamn cave walking on all four. And that was the original state that we found them in. And if you go up there today, you might find many more still in that state. Sorry to say that. And I, as a matter of fact, I'm not sorry to say that. You understand what I'm saying? For the And you see right here, and again, you see right there the monks, right there, praying to the sun because they know that Jesus is the S-U-N. That's all that he is, okay? That the anthropomorphic image of, of the beast is only to confuse you who the true living God is. When we say the true living God, we're talking about the sun because there's nothing on this planet that can live and truly live and survive without the blessing of the most high. Okay, not no Yahweh, not, not, no, not no goddamn Allah, no, no, no Jesus, no St. Peter's, Mary, Mary, or nobody else can save you. You understand what I'm saying? When that almighty living God, the S-U-N, whom the ancient Egyptians, many people would say, call rock, okay? Call rock, and you understand? The, the burning sun, you understand, that provides life to everything in the solar system, okay? When that guy right there has cursed you, you truly curse, okay? So when you look at this now, for the Lord God and, and the Lord will give grace and glory, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So that just show you right there in their consciousness they already know and have proven and shown the actual uh, 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 the, the, the vampire legend is in a reality of that. 
and more in a reality than that than the goddamn Bible. You understand what I'm saying? They they didn't told more about truly who they are through the vampire story than through any history book, religion, or anything else. God damn it, when you see, you understand, when we talk about white and shit, and usually we, we say, oh, white pure. No, white means the absence of blood, bitch. That's what it means. You ain't living. You're not alive. If you look at the motherfucker and you see the vampire, you understand the motherfucker got white skin. You understand why do we have? Because he lacks blood. He has no blood. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why they white. You understand what I'm saying? So that means you're not with the living. You understand what I'm saying? And then, you know, when he looks in the mirror, he don't have no reflection because the dead have no reflection. You understand? When you're disconnected from the sun, huh? You do not, you're not, you're disconnected from the cosmos, which means you do not have a spirit. You don't have a spirit. So the reality is more have been told about the true history of the Caucasian in the legend of the vampire than any history book, any medical book, God damn it, any religious book, okay? And so the thing is, as we look, and I did, you see, let me come back. You see, again, when you look, that the reflection of the vampire is the same reflection and reality of Adam and Eve. It's say, when you understand, see, when you look up there and you see the sun coming down on, see, the reality is they're going to put the anthropomorphic image of God there to confuse you. You see what I'm saying? That's the confusion. You're going to get a, you're going to get lost in the mythological story of an old man sitting on the throne up in the sky. See, that's what's going to fuck you up. See, that's why I had to come with the God deception to break that mystery and that myth of a, a fucking man sitting up on some goddamn, because the reality is, you know, that the cosmos is in reality the, the God that we truly worship. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how you look at, when you go, you, you it's a beautiful day, you understand it brings you out, say, makes you more vibrant. You understand what I'm saying? It brings you to life. You know what I'm saying? Everything, when the sun is out, the music go up. You understand what I'm saying? All, you know, the smiles, you know, get most smiles on your face. You understand? Everybody happy, everybody in the jet. That's the real God. You understand that we live for and, and, and pray to, but we don't realize it. You understand? It's more invigorating to us. You understand? It brings us to life, like I said. So when you look and see, that the reality is that the reflection of Adam and Eve is the same as the reflection of the vampire. That's the reality. And the fact is, when you look at it, Adam and Eve and you look at the uniform of Adam and Eve, they've always been shown with what? Animal skins on their back. You're not going to be in no motherfucking Ethiopia with no damn bear skin on your back. These are cave people. OK, that's one clear thing that most people did not understand because you are not your comprehension level. So you got to be looking behind the veil. So so first and foremost, they got on caveman uniform. OK, and I brought that up many times before. I think I was one of the first people to even brought the shit up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit information. The general brought the shit to reality. You understand? I say, look at these motherfuckers. Don't y'all realize they got on caveman uniform? You understand what I'm saying? And the fact that God is the son and that's what put them out. And they were, and they were uh, cursed from ever coming back into Africa. That don't mean they, they're not in there. That means that when they bring their ass into Africa, the reality of the curse will always be the same. Their ass is going to burn on an on a extraordinary level, okay? So when you go to goddamn Israel, when you go to Australia, when you go to South Africa, wherever they go, they're going to burn on an extraordinary level. So the curse remain even here today. You see what I'm saying? And you see when they left, the, they left in shame. So when you see this, you, you see the man hand down in his face. He's in shame. He's in shame of the fact that he ain't got no mother. You understand what I'm saying? He's in shame. You understand what I'm saying? The fact that 
civilization has is already one million years old and you just coming out the goddamn cake. You shamed of this. You shamed her. So when we talking about original sin, most people don't understand that original sin, the original sin is that nobody ate from no goddamn tree. Original sin was being born without motherfucking melanin. Man, goddamn, y'all got to wake up. That was the original sin, okay? That was the original motherfucking sin, being born without melanin. You know, that fucked it up for, you know, these peoples out there in the European world. You understand what I'm saying? So he, here you see Kang. He didn't kill his brother. That's just an allegorical story. That's just an allegorical story because we know the European kills his brother every day, all day. We always talk about what niggas do. Talk about what the European do. One goddamn war, World War II, they killed damn near 100 million people. And you keep talking about two, two, twos and fuels. Yes, it, it's a shame that we haven't woke up. But goddamn it, don't ever compare us to the beast. You understand? We serial killers, like the cereal on top of your goddamn uh, uh, refrigerator. We Cracker Jack. We motherfucking Apple Jack killers. That's what kind of cereal. These motherfuckers is real cereal killers, okay? Je Hitler is Jeffrey Dahmer on a megalithic level. You understand what I'm saying? So they got cereal killers in office, okay? So we're not cereal. We cereal motherfucking Fruit Loop cereal killers. We're not them kind of killers. So quick companion and shit, even though we need to straighten up and fly right. We we always talking about what the fuck. And the man just went up and got them and they killing motherfuckers every day all over this motherfucker. Mass murder. Nick can't even go to the goddamn grocery store and get, and get some groceries without threat of being mass murder. You can't go no goddamn where today without being under the threat of some form of mass murder. You want to stay your ass in this. So we already understand that this is not an African story. Yes, there are going to be trials and tribulations between brothers. And this probably happened since the beginning of time. But for the most part, these is uh, trivial situations. You understand? These ain't no way we're going to murder half the goddamn continent. You understand? We never had these situations. We never had no World War I or no World War II. That come without a, a lack of melanin. You understand what I'm saying? All them disease, because you cannot process this, the information of the cosmos without melanin. Melanin is that conductor of the cosmic energy. And without it, is you ain't got no antenna. You ain't got the system to facilitate the solar energy. You are in an erratic state. And I'm going to deal with that later on when we deal with the shades of divinity. So you see again, they show you what? The sun shine, running him up. You understand? Running the wickedness from amongst us. You understand? Because if he a kill his brother, God damn it, you know what he going to do to us. You understand what I'm saying? Keep it moving. You see right there again, it's a constant understanding. And you see when the sun shine, he, what he do? He look away. He can't. He can't face the sun. That just lets you know he must look away. And so his whole, not just his faith, but his reality, his society is forced into that same. So if you are a children of the sun, then you know the reality of what the conditions gonna be for you and a man if he run this society. It's not gonna be for you. Everything is about sunblock. When the European go, he had to put on sunblock. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't, nigga, we, we bathe in the sun. You understand what I'm saying? So we got two different realities. So when we look at colors, you know, a lot of people got a different, you know, many different definitions about the shades of colors. And the reality is we do not, not look at the color system the same. We do not. And matter of fact, melanin is what allows you to perceive color. So if you ain't got certain levels of melanin in your eye, it's certain shit you cannot see or it will, will appear to you totally different than it will pick up, uh, appear to the melanated African. And I must say the African because the African has the complete s system, to the original system for an African to live in the solar system. We have the complete system system we have the ability to move into immortality nobody else is because they lack so much and they understand that much of that lacking of melanin causes people to be in dis-ease and even if you have it and you don't activate it and you don't live the life of a solar 
African, melanated African, in essence, that's like having a fucking Lamborghini and your motherfucker, and when you pull it out, you only go two. The motherfucker got 300 miles on the th th uh, thermometer, uh, 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 speedometer, I'm talking about thermometer, dude. Thermometer too, goddamn. And if you, if you got 300 on and you scared, you can't get it past 10 miles an hour, bitch, you got a system that you're not, you know, facilitate. You understand what I'm saying? And so we, and many times we have not even been, been, we've been taught away from our divinity. We've been taught away from connecting to the cosmos and, and, and the main uh, uh, functioning of teaching us away from that was religion because they taught us if we went to the cosmos and connect that we was in some type of heathenism or paganism or witchcraft or something. Keep it moving. So when you look at the, the vampire, and the one thing they're going to do, they're going to throw that hand up. That's You know what I'm saying? They're going to throw that hand up. You see him right there. Throw that hand up. You understand? Throw that hand up. You're going to throw that and block that sun. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the reality. You understand what I'm saying? The overpowering. You understand? If you ain't got melanin, you know, that sun, you you know, it, it hurts the eyes. You can get goddamn melanoma in your eyes and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why you see a lot of them damn Europeans wearing sunglasses. You see what I'm saying? Look at him throwing the hand. So you look back there and you see them angels and shit. And, but you see the sun. And so that all, all the uh, anthropomorphic, uh, you know, angels and God, that's only there to, to distort your understanding of the reality. That, and again, if you look clear, and I want you to see a standard, because I'm showing you a standard. You go right here. What you see got on? He got on K man uniform. They say Ethiopia, they say the Garden of Eden was in Ethiopia. How the fuck is you going to be in Ethiopia walking around with some goddamn K man uniform on? Got on goddamn sheepskin and this, that. Motherfucker, you will burn the fuck up wearing some shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Most motherfuckers in Africa, you see them, goddamn it, they barely got clothes on. Goddamn, I could understand if you was even if you was at on the mountaintop. I see how where they might if you out the heights of mountains, but goddamn during the day, even in Ethiopia, even though it's in the mountain regions, and maybe at night it might get a little cool if you up in the mountains, because you had high, you had a higher region. But goddamn, nigga, you're not about to be walking around with no K man uniform on. You're not about to be doing that. You might got a coat on, but you got to take that motherfucker off, my nigga. That's just straight up. You know what I'm saying? So we we bringing out truth today. You understand? When you see them hands go up, we bringing out the truth and reality. You understand what I'm saying? When you look at the uh, reflection of Adam and Eve, is nonetheless the reflection of the vampire. So Adam and Eve is the first, one of the earliest documentations of vampire, because they have no problem with that. The vampire is one of Europeans a uh, major mythological entity. You understand what I'm saying? The, the vampire in, is very profound in European culture and have been for, you know, a very long time now. So they have no problem, you know, but they just don't want nobody else defining it for what it is. And so, so a man think of, so is he. So even when he created the Adam and Eve story, a lot of what he didn't, he wasn't, not, this was for him. It wasn't for us. So a lot of the year he put in the mythological, you know, allegorical entities, but in it, he still knew what it truly meant. Okay. He knew exactly what it truly meant and the reality of what's happening. And so when you look all over the world right now, we see what's happening. So we got to go back to the cosmos. The cosmos is going to tell it all. You understand what I'm saying? The, guide, the guidelines for seeing reality is judging it by the laws of the universe and the laws of the cosmos. And I know we all know we're not all the same. That's the reality. That's a myth. And it's a very, very uh, dangerous myth because that's what causes us to look the, to the white man. Black means death. Evil, this, that, and other. And so through color programming, color programming, subliminally, we have disconnected from ourselves. We have disconnected from the cosmos. We have con disconnected from our ancestors because anything connected with black, we look down on it. Even our ancestors, we look down. 
call them uh, African booty scratches and all of this shit. We don't even look at Egypt as belonging to us. So through this color programming, we have disconnected from ourselves, from the cosmos, from my ancestors. We cannot take the eyes of our oppressors and look through the eyes of our oppressors and see our divinity. See? So when you see that hand go up, you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to get on down on this in the, in the next video when we're dealing with that cross because people don't understand it's not that. It's the solar cross. It's not just that crossy. You looking at now, you looking at the, the, you know, the allegorical, mythological. I'm busting that for you. So when you go look it up, go look up the solar cross. When you see the cross with the circle around it to let you know it's the solstices and the enoch, uh, uh, e uh, equinoxes. Okay, that's the solar cross. When so when it says that the 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 that uh, 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 God, uh what's that Jesus died on the cross it's not this cross it's the solar cross you see what I'm saying so people got to understand when he even talking to, about the return of the savior and the ret and return of the dragon and understanding to the Naga Kushite the dragon is only a a a a a a a, 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 zoo, a zoomorphic representation of the sun. That's why in ancient Egypt you see the serpent and the sun. And then when you go into uh, East Asia, China, Japan, the serpent becomes the dragon. But it's only symbolic of the sun. So when it says the return of the dragon, and it says a uh, return of the, we're talking about the sun. We're not talking about no man coming through no sky. We're talking about the coming solar age. So when we talking about global warming, the Africans had already uh, 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 foretold and prophesied of that coming long time ago. So when you look here, it's the solar cross. It's not just that right there. It's the solar cross that put in their ass in. So now we breaking the myth. We breaking the myth down. We, get, we got to get back on the right side of the board. Nigga, you didn't hopped on the, the other side. Yeah, you got to get on your side of the board, man, and get your reality in check because your reality will dictate your victory. If you understand the reality and you understand who, who God is, who the chose is, and then when you speak of chose, then reality is you must balance the scale and speak of the curse because if it's some chose, it's some curse. That's just the reality. If it's up, it's down. If it's right, it's left. If it's chosen, it's cursed. So when you put and become clear of the understanding who the true living God is, you will understand that, you understand that we are the chosen of that living God, the Son. You understand? And there is a cursed race or races on this planet who are befalling a hell of a punishment because it says the Lord God will not withhold that which is good from those that walk, walk uprightly. So it's a lot of motherfuckers that's not walking uprightly and God has withheld that goodness and that blessing from them. Okay, and again, like, you know, so I'm gonna focus on the fact, number one, uh, I'm gonna, you know what? That's a reality. Let me, let me, let me do this one. So you can see, I screenshotted this one. They didn't want to let me get the motherfucker, but they don't know me. I'm quick to screenshot some shit like a motherfucker. So you can see, when you disconnected from the, the sun, when you disconnected from the sun, you understand you do not, it's your, you do not have a spirit. You understand what I'm saying? You do not have a spirit. That's according to them. We did not create the story. So I don't want none of you cool niggas trying to clean the story up. The story speaks for itself, okay? So when it says, again, I'm going to be focused on the main aspects of the story, that number one, that Adam and Eve, first we got the, the uh, uh, prerequisite of understanding the story is that God is the son. All throughout the, the Christian, Judaic, Islamic 
Hindu, God is the sun. The anthropomorphic deities that you see is only an illusion to hide that fact. Okay, God is the sun. So when you look at the imagery of Adam and Eve, and you always see this, it's the sun that's putting them out of Eden. Okay, it's the sun. Eden is Africa. The stories is allegorical. Eden is Africa. This is when these Europeans first came in. And, and understanding they ass was probably, you know, 100% pale at that time. You understand what I'm saying? So they ass probably was frying like chicken nuggets. You understand what I'm saying when they came in the apple? And so these are stories that they wrote themselves so that they will always remember the reality of what they was in. You understand what I'm saying? So number one, the pre, uh, prerequisite is that God is the son and that they were put out of Eden, okay? And they were forbidden because it said that God put four angels, sheriffs, sheriffs, okay? Cherubs or whatever, however you pronounce uh, angels, east, west, north, and south to block them from ever coming back into the garden. So the reality was that original son, uh, sin had nothing to do with no apples or nothing. Original sin was being born with, when you understand that God is the son, original uh, sin was being born without melanin. That's number two. Understanding that God is the son is number one. Understanding that uh, original sin was being born without melanin, and I'll make it even more clear, being born non-African. With mel without melanin and being non-African, I got to add that on there. You understand? Because being, being, being born with some melanin ain't the whole system, okay? But it is most definitely a part a major part of the system because reality is if you ain't got the goddamn melt but you can have melanin and the shit not be activated you can have the melanin nigga have the mind of a beast and so that shit ain't activated and then it's not functioning okay so so number two is being born original sin is being born without melanin and number three that adam and eve when you look at it it shows that they had a caveman uniform and four, that they were blocked from ever coming back in the Eden. And the, what that means, being born without melanin, the curse will always reveal itself when you step back on the soil. That's facts. As long as you step back on that soil, the curse will reveal itself. That's being eternally blocked from Eden, which is Africa. That's reality. That's re I, I, I debate that with any motherfucker on the planet and prove it hands down that what I speak, those four concepts, and we can go over it again. You can see them leaving and they always in shame. Look at that. K-Man uniform. You in Africa with a goddamn uh, a fucking bear skin and shit. Only I ain't never seen no African wearing no shit. You as hot as hell. You wearing as less. You might not put no motherfucking clothes on. How the fuck you gonna be walking around with? See, the thing is, people don't understand. That's the react. That's subliminal too. You, you know what I'm saying? To the hair that was on their body when they put that bare skin and shit on. That's only semblance. When you look at them, when they come up out there, they being fully hairy and shit and this that. That's another alley, and I didn't want to get into that at this time, but. Reality is, you know, I get in that, into that in another, but that's another semblance. You understand what I'm saying? That keeps them, you know, they psyche in check of the reality of the original form in which they came in. When they came out of them caves, all of them, I'm not talking about one, all of them, you understand, look like the caveman, look like the Chewbacca. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's how the fuck you got to live if you ain't cold. Nigga, if you ain't cold, you got to have that hair on your motherfucking body, nigga, to survive. Nigga, so your body, you ain't going to be up there no smooth skin, nigga. You're going to have hair on your body. So that's the reality of the facts. You see? And so you see the vampire throw his hands up. And again, you come right back to the Adam and Eve. 
and you see nonetheless that they throw their hands up. So Adam and Eve is, is, is nothing more than a documentation of the vampire. It's one of the earliest stories of the vampire. That's facts, okay? And so when I get into the fall of man in the next video, but I wanted y'all to clearly understand those particular facts right there, that God is the son, okay? And, you, and it always show that, that God is the son, no matter what. You'll see that motherfucker, you see him hide, hiding from what? He's hiding from the son. You say, Adam and Eve hid themselves from God. You understand what I'm saying? What she's supposed to do if you ain't got no damn melon. You see what I'm saying? Every story you see. So you see up there in the sky, you see a man sitting on the cloud. You know that ain't no goddamn man sitting to God. This God is the son. That just, uh, just, just to, you know, not so that you won't understand the true understanding of the message that they understand. They understand it well. You know how I know? Because the standards stay the same. Adam and Eve, for many of them, keep that, that uh, caveman uniform. And every time they show God, many times, whether they, and they show God, you know, with, you know, as just the sun rays, or if they put like that uh, beast up there in the cloud, he still got the sun behind him. You understand? That lets you know that there's nothing in the universe that's divine that's not connected to the sun. So anytime you look at any religion, religion in order to understand what is divine who is divine they will always have a halo behind their head i don't care if it's hinduism islam christianity or jew the halo is the sun that's it so if you're not connected to the sun there's no way for you to be divine that's just facts that's just facts when you understand solar divinity that's why they say if you worship the sun or you worship the cosmos, then use a goddamn heathen, pagan, uh, uh, idolatrous, or this, that, and the third to keep you subliminally blocked, sun blocked from your divinity. That's why everything. So he he has a different reality reality than us. Okay, we they they shame, and so you see him going out in shame, and it's. See, the standard is the same. It never changed. Look at this. See, never changed. Now, you mean to tell me you believe that woman is in Ethiopia with that whole goddamn goat skin on her back like that? You got to be unreal. And so they were out in the man. And it, so the guy that you see with his hand point, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a disguise. The true God is the rays of the sun that point that way. Get your ass up out of here. And the curse remains the, to the eternal to this very day. So I'm going to go over the, the, the concept once again so that you understand. Even there, you see him throw that hand up. That's allegorical. The burning bush, that's allegorical. That's allegorical. Okay? The tree of life, that's allegorical. It's the sun. Nonetheless, it's the sun. OK, so again, that God is the son. Original sin is be, original sin was being born without melanin and that God, uh, Adam and Eve were forced out of Eden. African people have been in Africa from the very beginning and are there today. So it could not be us. How the fuck we are never we've never been put out of Africa. Even though we've been enslaved in this, the majority of our people have remained in Africa from the very beginning to this very day. We have never been put out of Africa. So that Adam and Eve story has nothing to do with us. I want you to wake up today, family. I want you to wake up today. Okay, let me come on up out of that because I got to go over to the, I got to go to the next video. You see what I'm saying? Very profound. Go over this video again and again. Go over them, them five, four, five points that I made. And then, you know, and I connect the dot again on the Noah and shit. And when I connect it, I don't, I don't know what else to give you. You can go over there and, and play with them, you know, play with them mythologies if you feel like it. I, I don't have time. I'm giving you the keys to the mysteries. Unlock the motherfucking door. 
go through the door and move the fuck on. I don't want to hear nothing but said, bitch, shut up. Unlock the door, go through the door, master the information. You understand? In case you got to go back, but we shouldn't be going back. Said, what about nigga? The story explains itself. And once it, you, you understand the key information, it's almost elementary because when you see it, the reality is it's facts. The general brought it to you, though, family. Remember who cracking these niggas and on what level I'm cracking them up. Right there. And then Adam and Eve precede Noah, Jesus, and all. If you take Adam and Eve off the board, you take all the other ones off the board. That's reality. It's like a building. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, it implodes, right? So you implode from the bottom. You see what I'm saying? So Genesis is the foundation. You see what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck how many stories you go up. Okay, the Bible is a skyscraper, but the foundation is Genesis. And when you blow that motherfucker out of there, it implodes. So I, I can go over and over and over and over. But right there, that's a heavy dagger. Those daggers, right? Do, 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 do. I just threw up in motherfucking. That ain't even a dagger, nigga. That's a child, what you call a star, nigga. You know how you got seven goddamn points on that? I used to throw daggers. Now I throw stars and shit. You know what I'm saying? So when that motherfucker spin and shit, goddamn it's seven goddamn deadly points that could take your life, nigga. Seven deadly points that could take your. So I'm not throwing daggers, nigga. I'm, I'm throwing stars now. You understand what I'm saying? That bitch spinning like this with seven deadly points on. As soon as that bitch hit anywhere up in there, nigga, it might get a full spin and take your shit off. For real, family. So, family, I appreciate you coming out. Let me get back in my chat just for a second. And I'm, I'm on time. I'm supposed to be on the next video. And uh, approximately, I'll start I'm supposed to be on there at 4 o'clock. If you didn't get to know, hey, how you ain't get the notification? If you ain't get the notification, hit notification, family. Y'all know y'all got to hit notification on the general. I don't want y'all to miss it, but always go back to the beginning of the, of the video. You understand what I'm saying? Go back to the beginning of watch it again. Write the information down. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I will lead you to the next chapter because you need that information to go to the next chapter. And when we go through the next chapter, we're dealing with Noah because after Adam, the next major and I can show you how that, what I gave you, is a key. Once you understand that, that shit going to unlock the next story. The key going to go right, I guarantee you. And you're going to say, I'll be, and I, I'll show you. And when I show you, God damn it, God damn it, understand that the general motherfucker gave you the information. That's all I want. I don't want to hear nothing about the shit that I speak is my studies. I don't, you know, I, 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 I reference my elders now. But here, these are my stuff. Okay, you're not gonna hear me regurgitate no motherfucking shit. And, and you know, I, I I respect my elders, but I gotta stand on my own research too. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people out here, all they doing is taking from me. If they ain't got enough motherfucker to take from, they ain't got shit. You see what I'm saying? Because if you ain't got the studies and the years of studies in the information, it's gonna show itself. Niggas gonna say, man, what the fuck is you talking about? I guarantee you, after this, I could take this key that I gave y'all today and put it right into the door of the next fucking story and turn that bitch and it's going to open. Guarantee you. And to show you, and show you tomorrow, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the key today and I'm going to put it into the door of tomorrow and watch me unlock that motherfucker and walk you through that door. God damn it, and you can, and we can keep walking all the way to the end. And I guarantee you, you're going to say, I'll be goddamn. You understand? This shit right here, we've been fooled. And you got to understand, most information out here is allegory. And when you understand that, you never look at shit for face value. You're always looking what's behind the veil. What's behind the veil? Because we know it's in niggas' heart to mislead. It's, it's in the world's heart to mislead the truth because the truth will, will free the people. You cannot 
enslave a people that know the truth. If, if, if they allow, if, if they allow you to, they don't know the motherfucking truth. Oh, they ain't got no goddamn wheel. You done broke their motherfucking wheel where they know the truth to where they gonna live a lie. I don't know no motherfucker that know the truth and still gonna live a lie. Unless that motherfucker, you know, you know, he weak and want to be a slave. You understand what I'm saying? So family, love you. Thank you for coming out today. I'm going to the next video. I'm going to even be on Sarasu and Seti YouTube, YouTube page later on after I get some rest. I'm going to be dealing with the uh, shades of divinity. So when we looking at these cups, man, there's some heavy shit going on out here. Talking about this 5G shit and all of this. I got to I got to talk to y'all, man. This shit getting real. If y'all remember that motherfucking movie, uh, damn, with that movie with uh Samuel Jackson in, and, and they was uh, damn, oh my god, and the motherfuckers was using the telephone to fuck people brains up and shit, and they hit that guy, and the motherfuckers was going crazy and kill. What was the name of that shit? Put it in the goddamn. You know what I'm saying? And they was the uh, it was the early uh it was the early uh secret service so i think it was the early secret service the movie that samuel jackson was in no it wasn't manchurian candidate that was denzel i get it i get it you understand i get it kingsman right fact that's right y'all already know so that's like a pre, we're going to deal with that family. Kingsman, y'all hit it right on the head. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. All right, family, get with me. I'll be back in five, 10 minutes. We're going to do the, this, this last video. The true meaning of the fall of man is powerful. It's powerful. It's, it's on the line. It's a different mystery, but it's on the same level of what we're dealing with today to understand that our day is coming. We cannot lose confidence in our ancestors and our elders. The message has been told. Our day is coming, but we got to line up on the right side to win this shit. Okay? All right, family. This is the General Sarah Susan said he's saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Liberation through African education and confrontation. Black power.